how in the world do I connect with others as an empath or a highly sensitive person? I gotta tell you, it can feel daunting, but I have some tips that I wanna share with you today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Evans, a self-care and empowerment coach working with empaths and highly sensitive people around the world. If you're ready to see your sensitivity as your greatest asset, remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. Highly sensitive people and empaths might feel like connecting with others is a struggle, but I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be. Despite the fact that you have this sensitivity, it's essential that we connect with others, that we have relationships with people who can understand, honor, and respect our sensitivities. One misconception about highly sensitive people and empaths is that because of our sensitivities, we might choose to isolate more, that maybe we don't need to be around people or we're choosing not to be around people as often as others might. And nothing could be further from the truth. One of our basic human needs, one of our drivers is love and connection. And this can only happen if we're connecting and in relationships with the right people. I want to share with you today my tips for how you, as a highly sensitive person or empath, can connect with others in your life. The first thing I'd like you to do is be open, but choosy. I, I want us to be open to new experiences and meeting new people, but I also want us to pay attention to what our system is telling us. Our systems are our greatest teachers and they are giving us signals all the time. So I want you to pay attention to how your system responds physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically when you're encountering somebody. You may even want to use this with people you've had in your life for a really long time. Begin to tune in to how the system is feeling, responding, what sensations you're having in your body, in your mental state, in your emotional state, in your energy field when you are around new people or if you're meeting somebody for the first time. This information is not to be dismissed. For highly sensitive people and empaths, our bodies are our greatest teachers. They are telling us exactly what we need to know right when we need to know it. The second thing I need you to know, embrace, and understand is that you belong. It can sometimes feel isolating to be highly sensitive or to be an empath, like other people won't understand or that our sensitivity means that we have to shut ourselves off and take more time to re-energize or recharge our batteries. While that might be true, it's also true that we need deep, meaningful connections in our lives with people who understand, respect, and honor our sensitivities. And those people are out there. It might be a matter of finding them. So I want you to know that you belong, that you have a space, and that there are people out there who are going to embrace you fully for everything that you possess. The third thing I would like to invite us to do is to start slowly. Sometimes when we are feeling like we need to connect with more people, we will try to do it all at once, that we'll meet a whole bunch of different people all at the same time, or we'll go to a big networking event, or we'll put ourselves in new situations over and over and over again. That can be a lot for the system to handle. In fact, it might even cause the system to go into overwhelm and then everything comes to a stop. We don't want that. So I'd like to encourage you that if you are seeking to connect with new people or to reconnect with people in your life, I'm going to encourage you to start slowly. Start with one or two people, maybe have tea or coffee, whatever resonates best with your system, and just spend time connecting, noticing how the system is responding and seeing if this is a person who can hold space for your sensitivity. Another thing I'd like to say is that you don't have to open up right off the bat and say, I'm a highly sensitive person or I'm an empath. That can come with time. While it is a part of our identity, it's maybe not something you feel safe sharing right away. And there's no need to. That is completely up to you when and how you choose to identify that way and when and how and if 
you want to share that with others. Connecting with others and deepening our relationships with the people in our lives is an essential component to our vital well-being. I'm going to encourage you to take these tips and see how they work for you. And I'd love to know which one resonated the most with you. Leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. Stay ignited out there. I'll see you soon. Bye.